Hello students, welcome to STEM Works for Schools. I am Bhuvan Verma, your Sherpa for today's talk. This is a special series recorded by World Robot Olympiad, India National Organizer, India STEM Foundation. Our efforts are supported by National Council of Science Museums, NCSM, to showcase how STEM works for schools. I know you are preparing for the national entrance test to become part of the STEM community. It is your first step towards World Robot Olympiad 2023. More videos on that will come up soon. Subscribe for regular updates. We are very proud to have you students from so many schools to attempt this journey with us. To help you understand STEM and STEAM better, it is our endeavor to bring to you leading academic voices from our community. Today, we have someone very special for you, Principal Dr. Mrinalini Singh of Yadu Public School. Welcome, Principal Singh, to STEM Works show. How are you? Thank you very much, India STEM Foundation. I'm very happy and I feel privileged to be part of your team. And I'm looking forward to talking to the young children. So I'm very happy and thank you very much. Hurrah. All right. So then diving straight into our children's questions. Our children are curious to know, ma'am, how does STEM education help strengthen implementation of National Education Policy 2020? See, as we know nowadays, after COVID time, STEM means science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It's an umbrella term used to group together the distinct but related technical disciplines of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The term is typically used in context of education policy. National education policy, which has come in 2020, and now it has been passed by the cabinet, and we all are implementing it in our school. So NEP emphasizes on schools to have more experiment-based classes and hands-on learning. It also recognizes that evidence-based learning is very important. And we know that it is not possible to actually include technology without including the STEM education into the curriculum. STEM education helps students to prepare for the future by teaching them about new technologies and innovations. This not only gives a competitive edge in the job market, but also helps them to understand and participate in shaping the world around them. Like NEP has emphasized on various things. So without STEM, I don't think so that it would be possible to achieve the policies and learning outcomes, which has been laid by NEP 2020. Absolutely, ma'am. Not only are you an academic lead, you also have to look at the technology or the technical aspect of things. And you are a technocrat in, in terms that you understand the policy so well, ma'am. And my students are very curious to know next what is she reading these days if i tell what book i am reading i i think all children are going to laugh that principal ma'am reads these kind of books actually i love reading amar chitra katha and tinkle so whatever new season book comes of tinkle i'm the first one to grab it and i have also subscribed for lifetime subscription of tinkle because i love reading tinkle and amar chitra katha Apart from it, recently I have started reading Gita, which was gifted to me by Escon Temple. And uh, I finished first few uh, pages of Gita. And I'm finding it that now in this era, it is very important to understand the uh, concept of uh, Gita, which is being told by Sri Krishna and inculcate those values in our life. Keep doing good work and leave what will happen in future. This is such a nice, uh, you can say, way of living life. It would be a complete stress-free life the moment we stop thinking about future and we are focusing on our present. I'm reading it, still reading it. So let's hope so that next time when we meet, I'm able to finish the book and give you more updates on the, on the same. I have heard a lot about Gita. Many people keep talking about Gita and they keep... Uh, discussing about what is written in Gita, but I wanted to read it myself and then understand my perception of Gita. So students who are in between exams and breaks do pick up all of these books. Variety is the 
choice of life you will enjoy life better tinkle and geeta what an eclectic collection of reading you have principal i must compliment okay moving to my students next question you know reading aside our students are also encouraged to do a lot of hands on activities can you uh, tell our students how important is hands on training for them see after this i have told you that nep has incorporated vocational classes and vocational training for classes 6 to 12th and it now it has become mandatory for all principals to include hands on experience and vocational training in the curriculum and we have to send the report or annual curriculum of the same to cbsc a hands on experiment if i talk about it's a properly structured hands on learning which encourages students to think outside the proverbial box coaxing them to experiment with and explore the problems tools and substances they will work with regularly in their chosen career now if i talk about benefit of hands on training or hands on experiment it improves the kinesthetic learning and it allows students to put theory into practice and apply their knowledge into real world setting and perform tasks that would be relevant for the future jobs which we do not know what is going to be what is the next job offers they are going to get after 10 years whether mobile will be there computer will be there or not so we do not know it also helps to build a connection in the industry for example like nep has told that you are going to have lot of uh, exposure of class 11th and 12th students to the industry so we do send them for internship of 2 to 3 months so they build a connection with the industry and it helps in career development also absolutely so <laughs> students uh, those of you who are watching do take note there are internships that you can look out for thank you very much uh, principal singh for highlighting this very critical aspect of learning while doing internships and also of course you know your schools are providing stem labs but in doing internships or working hands on in your labs there is a lot of team player attributes that a person has to inculcate our students are curious to know from you what is that one must attribute of a team player a team player should be compassionate and he should understand what his team members are discussing and if somebody is unable to perform for whatever uh, goals is being set he should understand that he has failed and his failure should be taken positively and he should be compassionate enough towards his team members it's a feeling which every human being should have as a team player because every family member even in the classrooms also everyone is a team player at various places and we are playing different roles as a friend role we are playing in uh, our classmates when we are doing project we are doing a project member role when we are in the family we are in different roles so if you are not compassionate enough to understand other team member i don't think so that a team is going to be successful emotionally so if team team members are not bonded emotionally together then the success even if it comes but it cannot be enjoyed by all absolutely ma'am and i like the fact that you said that boys need to learn compassion more than girls do because you know that is lacking in the boys and sometimes this also lack of compassion may also lead to failures in understanding yes. the needs this takes me to my next question from my students how does one deal with failure can you tell my students how do they deal with failure see bhuvan failure is something which you cannot avoid that's the first step towards success because if somebody is successful in his or her life it's not possible that he must not have failed in his life once twice 100 times 10 times einstein has failed so many times but he was able to give the laws then now also we can see or we have heard stories of ambani stories of hopkins so many in scientists are there who failed in their research work and then they found a theory which has become the integrated part of physics chemistry or bio so you cannot avoid failures so when you fail instead of taking it as a failure it would be good that if you take it as like uh, i have found a new way why this particular goal was not achieved so i can guide my friends 
i can guide my colleagues that do not use this method for getting this particular goal because i have tried and i have failed so i am an example for it so you have gained a learning experience so failures are not actually failures it's gaining a new learning experience and that that learning experience you can share with your team members friends colleagues so from your experience they will gain so actually you have not failed you have gained something that this is a wrong way and this experience i am going to share with my friend let me try another way let me take a short break let me just go through the entire procedure which i followed while doing this particular job and why i failed so again going through the entire process what wrong i did and where i need to work upon again and where i need to improve upon so self realization so you are talking to yourself you are replanning entire procedure once again so you are actually going to it's called as digital learning in your mind you are again following the steps and which step went wrong you are going to again change that particular step and follow the procedure again next time you may pass so failure is something which is a learning experience i never say it's a failure failure not in my dictionary it's a learning experience and i gained an experience and that experience can be useful for the other person who come in contact with me absolutely so wonderfully said so quotable ma'am i must compliment thank you principal dr mrinalini for guiding our viewers our students teachers and parents on this journey of stem we hope they will find their moment of meaning in this stem work session this stem work session was curated by india stem foundation the national organizer of world robot olympiad in india world robot olympiad is an event for science technology and education in which students come together to exercise their independence their thought and their application of what they have learnt in classrooms and give physical shape and movement to objects schools are invited to enter teams of 3 students per category to participate in this competition the competition progresses through various stages details of which are in the description below till we meet again keep sharing this video with your parents and peers take care bye bye